Hi, I am R. Intumati, working as assistant professor in the Department of Microbiology at Kaiser College of Arts and Science for Oman. Today, I am going to speak about the topic carbohydrate metabolism. Carbohydrates are polyhydroxy aldehyde or ketone. Their biological significance of carbohydrates include major source of energy of living organisms, supplying a huge array of metabolic intermediates for biosynthetic reaction, the structural element in cell, coat, or connective tissues. The indigestion, partly digested in mouth by salivary amylase, in stomach, there is no digestion takes place. The complete digestion and the absorption of carbohydrates takes place in the small intestine. The metabolic metabolism of glucose includes aerobic oxidation, glyconesis, glyconogenesis, pentose phosphate pathway, glyconogenesis, gluconoglyosis, uronic acid pathway. Like, uh, this is the overall view of the glucose metabolism. Now we will see about the uh, cyclic glycolysis. The anaerobic catabolic pathway, which have molecule of glucose is broken down into two molecules of lactate. All the enzymes of glycolysis locate in the cytosol. This is the flow chart of glycolysis. Glucose on our uh, enzymes exokinase gives glucose 6 phosphate. Glucose 6 phosphate on our uh, enzymes phosphoglucose isomerase gives fructose 6 phosphate. Fructose 6 phosphate on our uh, 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 enzyme phosphofructokinase it gives fructose 1, 6 bisphosphate. On aldolase it gives glycerolidate 3 phosphate. Glycerolidate 3 phosphate on enzyme triose triose phosphate isomerase gives 1,3 bisphosphoglycerate glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase gives 3 phosphoglycerate phosphoglyceraldehyde kinase gives 2 phosphoglycerate phosphoglyceromutase gives phosphophenol pyruvate on enolysis gives pyruvate the final product of glycolysis is 2 molecules of ATP and 2 pyruvate acid pyruvate and 2 NADH 2 ATP is equal to 38 molecules of energy. Next, the regulation of glycolysis. 3 T enzymes catalyze irreversible reactions that is exokinase, phosphofructokinase, and the pyruvate kinase. Significance of glycolysis glycolysis is the emergency enzyme energy yielding pathway. Glycolysis is the main way to produce ATP in some tissues, even through the oxygen supply, is sufficient, such as red blood cells. Retina, testis, skin, medulla, or kidney. In glycolysis, one molecule of G produce two mole of lactic acid and two mole of molecules of ATP. Next, we will see about the citric acid or Krebs cycle. This is also called as tricarboxylic acid cycle. The cycle comprises the combination of molecule of acetyl CoA with oxaloacetic acid, resulting in the formation of six carbon tricarboxylic acid citrate. There follows a series of reactions in the course of which two molecules of CO2 are released and oxaloacetic acid is regenerated. This is also called as citric acid cycle or Krebs cycle. This is the summary of Krebs cycle. Acetyl CoA gives citrate, citrate and uh, gives isocitrate. Isocitrate gives alpha ketoglutarate, alpha ketoglutarate and gives succinyl CoA, succinyl gives succinate, fumarate, martate and the oxaloacetate. This is the Krebs cycle. Next, the net reaction of TCAC is acetyl CoA plus 3 NAD plus plus FAD plus GDT plus PA plus 2 H2O gives 2 carbon dioxide plus 3 NADH plus 3 H plus and uh, FAD H2 plus. The reaction is irreversible and anaerobic reaction. The enzymes are located in the mitochondrial matrix. Uh, next, we will see about the pentose phosphate shunt. The produce the procedure of pentose phosphate fund is uh, occurs in the cytosol that is nothing but cytoplasm. Next, oxidative phase. There are two phases in the pentose phosphate pathway. One is oxidative phase, the other one is a non-oxidative phase. In oxidative phase, glucose 6 phosphate will give on dehydrogenase gives 6 phosphoglucolactonate, 6 phosphoglucanolactonase gives 6 phosphogluconate. 6 phosphogluconate dehydrogenase enzyme acts on 6 phosphogluconate to give ribulose 5 phosphate. This ribulose 5 phosphate will give uh, will uh, turn into two products one is ribose, the other one is xylulose. Next, we will see about the non oxidative phase. In this phase, ribose 5 phosphate and xylulose 5 phosphate gives fructose 6 phosphate. This fructose 6 phosphate on gives finally it goes to the glycolysis. There are two enzymes involved in non-oxidative phase. One is transoskeletolase and the transaldolase. Next, the net reaction of pentose phosphate pathway is 3-glucose 6-phosphate plus 6-NAD plus gives 
2 fructose 6 phosphate plus GAP plus 6 NADPH plus H plus plus 3 CO2. Regulation of pentose phosphate pathway includes glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase is the rate limiting enzyme. It inhibits the NADPH and it activates uh, the NADPH also. Next, we will see about the gluconogenesis. The glucononic pathway, the main pathway for gluconogenesis is essential at reversal, reversal of glycolysis, but there are three energy barriers obstructing a simple reversal of glycolysis. This is the pathway of gluconogenesis. Glucose, glucose 6-phosphate, stays acts, gives glucose 6-phosphate, fructose 6-phosphate, fructose 1,6-bisphosphate, glycerol 3-phosphate, 1 comma 3 phosphoglyceride, 3 phosphoglyceride, 2 phosphoglyceride and 2 phosphoenol pyruvate and then it gives the pyruvate. In this pyruvate contains amino acids. This amino acids will go for TCA cycle and this TCA cycle will give pyruvate whereas lactate and the alanine and other amino acids are involved in this pyruvate. In this there are three, two abstractors. One is oxaloacetic acid, the other one is uh, pyruvic acid. Next regulation of gluconogenesis. The substrate, this is also called a substrate cycle. The interconvention of two substrates catalyzed by different enzymes for singly direction reaction is called as substrate cycle. The substrate cycle produces nitrohydrolysis of ATP or GTP, that is fertile cycle. Next key enzymes of gluconogenesis is PEP carboxylic kinase, PYR carboxylase, fructose 6 phosphate, uh, glucose 6 phosphatase. Thank you for listening.